Hi there, welcome back to For Wheels Empire. Today, we're tackling the PO20 engine code. You might have noticed that dreaded check engine light on your dash and, after diagnosing, it led you to a PO20 code. Don't worry, we've got you covered. This code relates to the camshaft position actuator, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly what it means, the possible causes, and how you can fix it. Asterisk. The PO20 code indicates that the bank to intake camshaft isn't synchronized with the all control valve because of an open or faulty circuit. This problem is detected by the engine control module, which is the electrical control unit that regulates the opening and closing of the camshaft intake and all exhaust valves. Faults in the all control valve the powertrain control module might get damaged. Engine timing may be out of sync, some sort of internal damage in the ECM. Crankshaft or camshaft sensor can start malfunctioning, engine all sludge. A short or open circuit in the VVT, OCV, or VCT circuit. Defects in the intake camshaft position actuator solenoid. Check engine light illuminated. Affect engine performance at higher RP MIS. Reduce fuel economy and engine performance. Affect engine idle quality. Fail an emission inspection. OBD scanner, multimeter. Wrench set or socket set. Screwdriver. Brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner. Rags or clean cloth. Replacement camshaft position actuator. Engine all. Work gloves. Locate the all drain plug. It's usually on the bottom of the engine. Use your socket set to loosen the plug. Place the all drain pen underneath to catch the old all. Carefully remove the drain plug and let the old all drain completely while the all is draining. It's a good time to inspect the plug and washer for any signs of wear or damage. Now, let's replace the all filter. Using your all filter, wrench, loosen and remove the old filter. Before installing the new one, lubricate the Rubber gasket with a bit of fresh oil. Screw on the new filter hand tight. With the old oil drained and the new filter in place, it's time to add fresh oil. Consult your car's manual for the correct oil capacity and type. Pour it in using a funnel to avoid spills. Start your engine and let it run for a few minutes. Then, turn it off and check the oil. Level using the dipstick. Add more oil if needed and recheck until you reach the correct level. Don't forget to dispose of the old all properly. Most auto parts stores accept used all for recycling. Never dump it in the trash or down the drain. Locate the camshaft all control valve. Depending on your vehicle, it's usually mounted on the cylinder head near the camshaft. You'll typically find it bolted to the engine. Block with an electrical connector attached. Clean the all control valve using a brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner spray the valve thoroughly to remove any dirt or sludge buildup be sure to clean the valve's filter and any passages wipe it down with a clean cloth and let it air dry for a few minutes if you want to test the valve before reinstallation use a multimeter to check the resistance across the valve's electrical terminals the resistance should be within the manufacturer's specifications usually between 6 to 12 ohms. If the reading is off, it's time to replace the valve. If your inspection or testing revealed that the valve is faulty, now's the time to replace it. Simply, install the new camshaft, all control valve in the same spot as the old one, following the same steps for securing the bolts and reconnecting the harness. Once everything's been cleaned, repaired, or replaced, clear the PO020 code using your OBD tube scanner and take your car for a test drive. And that's it, fixing the PO20 code doesn't have to be complicated. If you followed these steps, you've likely resolved the issue without needing an expensive trip to the mechanic. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.